Well, hello everyone. Lock Garden Bread Lady here coming to you guys with a quick video. And I just want to talk about some changes that are going to be made to the channel. Hopefully, there are going to be changes for the better. Don't worry. I know you already noticed the name change. Bird Lady Speaks. I know you already noticed the name change. Um, and don't worry. I'm still the Lock Garden Bird Lady. Primarily, I'm going to talk about gardening, um, locks, and um, parrot care are going to be my main videos. Parrot care, more than likely, may be my main video topics. I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to talk about that in just a minute. Um, I decided to, there are other things that I'm a lot, I'm passionate about as well. And I began to feel like by having the name Lock Garden and Bird Lady that I was boxing myself into a box and I couldn't talk about the other things that I really really wanted to talk about on this channel. I've had requests to do another video and to continue the um, Being Ugly series that I did. It's a, if you haven't checked out that video I put it in the description box. I did two videos on that. How I struggle with my looks and being always called the ugly person or the ugly friend or treated as the ugly person or ugly friend or being a dark skinned girl or being the girl that's overweight or just being considered as ugly. I was called ugly all through high school and growing up and you know it led to a lot of heartaches within my life and I did a series just talking about being ugly and just encouraging people um, that God created you the way that you are and he doesn't make any mistakes and man may see you as one thing but God said you know what he made is good and very good so I definitely want to get back into the being ugly because I have so many people request me to do another being being ugly video um I also want to get back into talking about mental health um not just mental health but mental health in the black community because in the black community it is a big stigma it's not talked about um I have people who say things like they don't want their child to be labeled and things of that sort where mental health isn't bad. I mean, we all have some kind of issues, you know, whether it be anxiety, PTSD. We all some have some kind of issues, but it's more prominent in some people than others. And it's okay to ask for help when you need that help. And I just want to really start talking about my struggles with mental health in the past and try to encourage others as well. Uh, another thing I want to talk about is mental health within military and vets because that's something I'm very, very passionate about. I haven't talked about that on my channel a lot. Even I'm going to, I have people lined up who are really willing to be open and allow me to interview them so that they can share their stories post-military what they dealt with mentally physically and how it just destroyed relationships and different things in their lives because they didn't know how to cope with what they were going through mentally so I definitely want to talk about mental health within the military and outside of the military once people live the military and what they leave the military and what they go through so definitely want to talk about that um, I have a couple of my dad is one of the main vets that you know I listen to him talk and I'm like hey this is something that I want to do and he's very excited about it he's going to be a part of it as well um another thing that uh well I love history and it was so shocking to me about how many people didn't know about Juneteenth like I knew about Juneteenth when I first moved to the states um, I remember we were either on the, I think we were on the Alabama-Georgia border or the Tennessee-Georgia border. I want to say it was the Alabama-Georgia border because wherever we were, the fireworks that were sold on the border to Georgia, they couldn't be sold in Georgia. So people would leave Georgia to go outside the border and buy fireworks and bring them back to Georgia. So we stopped and it was like a little outdoor flea market type thing. And we stopped there and I remember asking my dad to, and it was the end towards the end of June when we actually um, first moved back to the States. And I remember my dad stopped there for some food and we were just looking around this outdoor flea market and I remember asking him about the fireworks to get some fireworks for us. And he told me, no, <laughs> no, we're not getting fireworks. And that was my when he first educated me on what the when the Declaration of Independence was signed, when the Emancipation Proclamation was signed, and when, you know, it happened down in Galveston, Texas on June 10th. So that was my first education on June the 10th, on June 10th, when we first moved to the States. So we never, as long as my, when my dad was a part of our family, we didn't celebrate the 4th of July. We always celebrated June 10th. And we all, and even the little town in the small, in the small town that we were in, we had on the, on Juneteenth, we had a day that was called N-Word Day, like N-I-G-G-E-R Day. Um, 
or Jubilee Day. And ju that's when Juneteenth was celebrated. But then people began to, you know, they forgot what it meant. They forgot what it commemorated. And it began to be like this big block party and then crime and stuff, you know. People always mess stuff up. So I was shocked at how many people, especially even black people, didn't know what Juneteenth was. And so I love history. I love learning. Like I can call my dad now and I can get a complete history lesson. And when I was younger, I didn't appreciate it. But now, oh, hold on one second. Okay. When I was younger, when I was younger, I really didn't appreciate it. But now that I'm older, I do appreciate the knowledge that my dad instilled in me and the things that I've learned. So I definitely love history. So I'm going to talk about a lot of things in history. I love true, true crime. I'm going to tell some true, true crime stories that have been heavy on my noggin. Comment down in the comment section below if you know where I got that from. I'm not going to do what she does on her channel because I don't wear makeup. Um, but I do want, she has really inspired me to do, start doing true crime videos. Um, so I'm definitely going to start doing some true crime videos. Um, do some history things that have happened that people may not know about, people have forgotten about. Um, definitely want to talk about, um... I definitely want to talk about mental health, social commentary, because there's so much. I wanted to kind of come out and talk about some things when the whole bonnet situation. I'm still going to do a video on that when the whole bonnet situation happened with Monique. I definitely want to talk about that, so I'm going to come out. I'm going to do a video on that. And my what I want to talk about when it comes to history is not to shame anyone, not to make anyone feel guilty, not to, you know, it's just really to praise God for where we've come and where we are now and to let people know, like, if we don't know our history, I forgot who said it, but if we don't know our history, then we're bound to repeat it. So if we know our history, then we're, and then when, I, you know, they got these different laws where, um, they don't want black history or, you know, really what happened in America to be taught in schools. And I think that's unfortunate simply because I remember being in the ninth grade, I was written up because we were coming up to the chapter in my history class. Uh, we were coming up to the chapter which talked about black history. And I was so excited. I was so excited. But when we got to school that week. Because it took us like a week to finish out a chapter. And we always knew what was coming next. And so when we got to that week. Um, my teacher skipped over it. And I'm like, hold on, wait, 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 wait. We just skipped over a whole chapter. It's not, and the chapter wasn't even that long. I'm like, we're not gonna talk about that. The chapter that talks about Black History. And he was like, um, there's nothing you need to learn about it. You know, no, none of it's gonna be on the test. I'm like, yeah, it may not be on a test on our final exam, but I want to learn about it. I want to talk about it. Like this entire book is talking about, you know, white people, people that don't look like me. But I want to learn about this. I'm, I'm excited about this. He was like, you can read it on your own time. I've already read it. I'm ready to talk about it. Let's talk about it. I'm excited. And so he eventually sent me to the office for being insubordinate. So I got written up for it insubordination and even when I was in the office I was like this is not right this is this is not right and so that was the first time I got sent to in school suspension wasn't the last time but that was the first time so I've always when I where I grew up it was skipped over anyway you know it was it probably was taught in the big city schools but we didn't talk about it we didn't talk we did not talk we the it was skipped over every single year um it was skipped over so we never really got to talk about like black history month yeah we may talk about martin luther king or something like that but that was pretty much it and so when it comes to where oh we're getting to a point that history isn't taught in school anymore the truth of how america was founded and the things that have happened in america i'm like you know what People may need somewhere to go to learn about this stuff. Maybe they can come to my channel and learn about it. So it's not only black history, but it's history in, in America as well. Like, I, it's so many things that, that interest me, like the Watergate scandal. Love it. I, I, not saying that I love it, but it just interests me. I love history. So I'm just going to start talking about some things like that on my channel. And plus, you know, with me talking about parrots and things of that sort, I'm really on the fence about it because... I'm tired of getting the nasty messages um, just because I'm trying to help people take care of their parents. 
um, just because I'm trying to spread awareness and I don't know everything about parrot care, but what I do know, you know, I share with you guys and majority of the people appreciate it. And when I make a mistake, if I do something in my video, like for instance, um, I used to use the puppy pads for Casper Nanny and someone commented was like, Hey, you might not want to use those because they're, they're treated with chemicals. And if your bird is ripping them up, then he can be ingesting some of those chemicals and it can be end up being toxic for him. Immediately I stopped using them and she told me to use, she was like, well, you may want to get the bed pads that you use for humans because they don't swell and they don't have the chemicals. So I started using that and I went back and I corrected myself in the um, pinned comments in that video. Like, hey, this is what I used to use. Someone let me know not to use it and bam. But I get called stupid. I get called racial slurs. I get called so many things. And it doesn't bother me because I'm like, I never meet these people. But I'm like, is it, if I'm going to get called these things, I'm going to talk about what I want to talk about on my channel. If I'm going to get called the N-word, I'm going to talk about what I want to talk about on my channel. So it's really pushing me to branch out and um, really start talking about things. Different things that have happened in history. Things that I really love to read about. Things that I really... And it's different kind of massacres. Some good things that have happened that, that aren't even talked about. Um, a lot of like Madam C.J. Walker being the first not black millionaire, female millionaire. But being the first female millionaire period. You know, things like that. You know, just to talk about, you know, just things. You know, just history. Like I said, not only black history but history in general just things that i enjoy reading about and i would like to share with you guys so i do thank you so much for watching and tuning in and i will be posting some videos soon i have a lot going on my voice has finally come back if you notice i've done this whole entire video without coughing so i'm very blessed about that now i only cough when i lay down and go to sleep so go figure but um, yeah, so I just want to let you know there's going to be some changes and if you stick around, I appreciate you. If you don't stick around, I definitely understand. Thank you for the time that you were here. But if I'm going to put the time, the energy, the money into making these videos, then I'm definitely going to start talking about more of the things that I want to talk about. So thank you so much guys for watching and as usual, toodaloo, bye bye.